My name is Zion Williamson. I'm from Spartanburg, South Carolina, and I go to Spartanburg Day School. When you, uh, when developing as a young player, what do you think the most important thing is? Do you think it's strength and conditioning? Do you think it's skill work? What What would be the main focus you would give advice to to a young player growing up? Um, fundamentals. Um, fundamentals is the, the the key point. That's the main point because your fundamentals, like the behind the back, like. Your fundamentals add on to moves. Like, if you know the fundamentals, you can add on to your uh, repertoire. Yeah, for sure. All right. So, what about uh, what about dietary? Do you think that's very important? What do you, what's your take on that? Do you eat certain foods? Do you not eat certain foods? Um, that, a diet thing is a very important thing. Um, cause your body's your temple. Um, if you feel like you're overweight or you're not strong enough, like get in the weight room, but don't, like you know, be a football player. Just like get to. Yeah. Point where you're flexible, you're comfortable with your body. What, what, did, what did you have for breakfast? Uh, this morning, I had like four pieces of bacon and a little bit of eggs. Alright man, I appreciate you. I appreciate the, appreciate the wisdom, man. Can we ask him, like obviously, like you're one of the most athletic kids in here. I mean, is that something that you still work on? Uh, the athleticism, it's just there. Like, when you work on your fundamentals, um, it builds your coordination. So I, I feel like my coordination allows me to jump as high as I can. I mean, I, I go in the weight room, but I don't go in there and, like, try to max out. I just go in there and yeah. get a little bit of reps in and I'm out. Hey, you, had, you had a big day today, man. You had a big day. Well, big day. something he's been doing. What, you know, what attributes a lot what I do is footwork, man. That footwork, you know, he's been working on footwork since he was four years old. And so right now he's just getting bigger and stronger, but he's getting better. You know, I hear that a lot. Footwork, like coaches, trainers, they always preach footwork. Yeah, this footwork, guy, footwork, footwork. yeah. You, uh, were, you, were you one showing them? You showing them that footwork? Teach him up since he before. Man, that's cool, man. So, so you, he got that athleticism from you then? Well, that's from mom. Mom's okay, got athlete. From, okay, okay. Yeah, mom's an athlete. You know, I played yeah. in college. I played at Clemson when I came through. But um, she was the, she was an athlete. She was a track person. So yeah. Zion, you know, Zion, he hits the track. He hits the gym. He does everything, you know, we ask him to do. So, and, and you know, God has been good to him, you know, um, size-wise. And, you know, they're telling, doctors are telling us that Zion has about – three to four more inches of growth left in there. Right? So I feel like like you came on the scene just real quick out of nowhere, it seems like. Do you think that's how it went? Like I all yeah, of a sudden when, Yeah, when did you notice you were you were like you were special? You know what I mean? Um, that was all part of the plan. Six um, yeah. eight. He, Six told, eight? He, he told me, he said we don't want to put me out there early because we're out there early and try to critique your game and, like yeah. for a long time and you'll drop and fall off. So he said we're gonna put me out there around my tenth grade year, so it didn't really come as like a big surprise. Yeah. I mean, the social media status, now nah, that came as a surprise. Like, yeah. well, how many people want to follow me? But the rankings and the offers, that, that didn't come as like a surprise. So, like, being a young player, like, what kind of discouragement do you guys go through? Like, I'm sure you, do you go through anything? Like, when people say certain things about you on media? No, we don't listen to that, man. We don't even listen to none of that. That's good. That's good. Because, I mean, having, having, that's one of the main problems that people have, you know, being, being a young player, they don't know how to block out right. that well, in school. That circle is so small, and mom is the spearhead of that yeah. circle. Yeah. You know, and, and, you know, Zion listened to positive stuff. Yeah. You know, well, I'm talking to, talking to P3 Science, they said that you had the second highest test scores that they ever seen. That they ever seen? That they ever seen, and they tested over half yeah. the NBA, okay. and they tested, they're testing, I mean, all the top college players, and they said you got the second highest test scores that they've ever seen. How do you feel about that? Um, amazing. I'm just in high school. <laughs> I haven't even reached college. <laughs> so, That's what I'm saying. That's I, there's, no. more, there's more to develop. <laughs> and you know he was going to be special. And I'm going to give y'all a secret. Five years ago, I told Zion he'd be the number one player in the country by the time he was a junior. Uh, you know, he was flirting around the top. He asked me, how did you know that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, just trust the process. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, we're in the gym almost all day, um, so you get to learn other recruits um, and play style. So you can like see who you want to go to college with and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna just say playing with this competition is probably the best part of it. Yeah, that's good, man. Hey, I appreciate you, big dog.